Eddie. Eddie, can we bring you in here? Eddie Hearn, promoter. Anthony Joshua. Eddie, you said you were going to celebrate like a madman if AJ won this fight. You did. What did you think of his performance? Oh, it was an absolute masterclass. I didn't know if he could stay disciplined like that for 12 rounds. It was a schooling. You know, people, people have doubted his boxing ability. People have doubted his endurance. People have doubted him since the defeat. And it wasn't just a defeat, let's be honest. It was humiliating at Madison Square Garden. You know, it was the American, you know, coming out party, and he lost. He could have gone away, he could have sold. You know what, he brushed himself down because he's a true champion. And when you look at his resume, Chris, that's 24 fights in now. He beat Dillian White, he beat Charles Martin for the world title, beat Molina, beat Brazil, unified against Klitschko, beat Takam, unified against Parker, beat Povetkin, Box Ruiz, Box Ruiz. Which heavyweight has a resume like this? Nobody. Give him the respect that he deserves. This guy has, from the get-go, been punching above his weight, but now he's improving. He's learning the sweet science, and that was beautiful. That was like Picasso, you know, on a canvas, just telling a beautiful story. Clinic. I know you want to celebrate this win, deservedly so, but or, excuse me, there are some decisions to make in the coming months with the WBA and the WBO. What do you do next with Anthony Joshua? We celebrate first, and we plan secondly. These belts are important to him. He's wanted to be undisputed champion since he beat Parker. All right? It's not us. People say one face, one name. No, I don't really listen to that. It's, that was all rubbish. He's been wanting to do it. He's the one that steps up. Check the resume. Cold facts. Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury, the resumes don't even compete. But we'll do what we always do. Just stay focused, construct a plan, take care of business. He's a class man, class individual. What an ambassador for the sport of boxing. What a future this man's got. Tonight, he brought boxing to Saudi Arabia, the Middle East. 15,000 people sold out. The world stopped to watch Anthony Joshua become a two-time heavyweight world champion. And it was all live on the zone, baby. Do you take the same attitude as Anthony when it comes to Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder? You're not going to chase them anymore? No, he's been chasing them for years. He's been chasing them for years. They'll happen. And you know what? Maybe they were right that they walked away from those fights, Deontay Wilder, because it's worth a lot more now than it was back then. But he just wants it. He wants the legacy. And tonight, he created the legacy here in Saudi Arabia. You know, this isn't a guy who's just, you know, going in and selling seven or 8,000 tickets. This is a guy that's filling football stadiums, 90,000 in Wembley, 80,000 in Wales. MSG completely sold out. Saudi Arabia completely sold out. This is a guy that is transforming boxing. These other guys can't lace his boots like that. And tonight, Andy Ruiz couldn't lace his boots. And he's going to get better and better. 24 fights in. The best is yet to come. Congratulations, Eddie. Enjoy the night.